Alex with windowcleaner.com. I want to show you how to winterize your system for those colder months or just those months of inactivity where you're not going to use it for extended periods of time. But most of you are watching this because it's going to be winter and you want to make sure that your investment is protected throughout those colder months. So what can you do? What should you do? The first thing you should do is open your pre-filter housing. Just take that pre-filter out, throw it in the garbage. It's not going to do you any good in the spring to try to reuse a $10 filter. So just open the housing, get rid of that insert, put it back together. The same thing goes for your DI resin. Is your DI resin going to make it through the winter being just kind of damp and inside here? Maybe, but I recommend just starting this season off with some fresh DI resin. So again, open the housing, take the cartridge out, dump out that resin, then put the housing back together with or without the cartridge inside. As long as there's no resin in there, you're good to go. So the next thing you're gonna do, you don't wanna take your RO membrane out. You wanna keep your membrane in here, but we wanna protect it for the winter. So you're gonna need a socket wrench and we're gonna go ahead and loosen one side of the clamp. Okay. Finish the rest of my hand. You're gonna remove this clamp. Any water in here, it'll help to drain it out by just having your waist open. You can disconnect the line from the pre-filter and you can disconnect the line from the RO. All that water is gonna rush out of there, let it drain, let it do its thing. Next, connect back to your DI and have a brass cap handy and put this brass cap on the waist. Next, you're going to open the top cap on the RO housing. They are on there pretty tight, so what you can do, you're not going to hurt it, just take a flathead screwdriver and just kind of slowly work, work, work. Be careful, don't jam it in there. You don't want to damage the overing in there. Caps off, it's to the side. The next thing you need is an empty jug, gallon of water, anything like that. Gallon size works perfect. And you're going to mix in the RO Guardian. This is a powder that's gonna mix into the water, or you can use RV antifreeze if you do have a risk of it freezing. You're gonna let it dissolve in there completely, shake it up, and you're gonna pour it on here. So this powder is something that's going to protect the RO membrane during a period of inactivity. It's gonna inhibit bacteria growth on there. It's gonna inhibit algae plumes, which are gonna clog and foul your membrane. So mix this with a gallon of water or RV antifreeze, let it dissolve, shake, shake, shake and pour it slowly directly onto the RO membrane. It's not gonna just rush right through, it's gonna slowly go down, it's gonna take a few minutes, so pour it nice and slow. Entire gallon of water or RV antifreeze mixed with the RO Guardian, let it saturate the RO membrane. When it's fully empty, just put your cap back on, seal everything up together, put the clamp back on, and your pure water system is good for the winter or an extended period of time, we're not gonna use it. We've emptied out the disposable filters and we're gonna protect the RO membrane, which is doing most of the work and that's your largest investment in this system. So thanks for watching. Check out the World One. Check out the RO Guardian at windowcleaner.com. Boy, that was the fastest winter ever. Now we're ready to use our purification system. What do we do to unwinterize it? Piece of cake. Don't bother putting any of your DI or your pre-filter in. Make sure that everything is tight and secure. Remove that brass cap we put on way back in the uh, fall, early winter. Hook a garden hose up. Let water run through the system like normal for about 15 minutes. Flush all that out of there. Then install your pre-filter, your DI. You're good to go for a nice long season.